Greetings to you, my beautiful spiritual family. Grace be with you and glory to God in the highest. As we are approaching the final hours of 2019, hearts prepared to transition into 2020. Not only are we leaving behind another year, but we're leaving behind another decade. This will be the markings of a brand new year, a brand new season, a brand new decade, a brand new newness. Glory be to God. 2019 was a fantastic year for me. It was awesome, filled with beautiful and terrible experiences. Man, God came through for me this year like never before. By far, up to this point, 2019 was one of the greatest years of my life. Man, God brought me through my college years and helped me to conclude my final semester this year when I graduated in the spring semester. God carried me through that. God blessed me and took me through many transitions, promotions, and a lot of humbling that happened in my life. I got to visit Germany, connect with friends. God has blessed this ministry. God has elevated some statuses. God's blessed me. God's blessed this ministry. God's blessed a lot of people through this ministry. And I just want to rejoice over what God has done. God's kept me. Yes, it's been a trying year in some areas. Yes, I've gone through tests that I've never faced before. I've seen things in God that I hadn't imagined yet. Tryings of faith and affliction that I hadn't touched yet. And God brought me through it all. I have a greater appreciation of who God is and an understanding of his character traits, his faithfulness, his grace and mercy, God's ability to keep us. God has given me a many a word this year, and I am grateful for every single message that the Lord has given me. I'm just the mailman, but it's brought me joy to deliver most of them. Some of them I've delivered with a heavy heart. Others I've delivered in great affliction. But to God be all of the glory. So coming into this new year, 2020, man, I'm excited. I'm grateful for the connections that I've made this year. Man, God has been so good. And the greatest part about 2019 that the Lord has shown me is that 2020 is going to be even better. Hey, at least for me, praise God. Look, you got to have your own relationship with God. I, I didn't hear anything from the Lord concerning you at the moment, but I know for me and what God is doing, 2020 is going to be live. Praise God, which brings me to my point. 2020 on the verge. We are seeing it. My friends and family in Germany are already there. They've already begun and celebrated. Happy New Year to you in Germany right now. Glory be to God. But listen, it's a new year coming up. Let's get down with our Christian disciplines. Okay, you're right. Let me validate that. Let me qualify that. Christian disciplines. These are the foundational principles and concepts in God's word that are necessary to sustain our spiritual life. These are Bible reading every single day, prayer every single day. Make your petition to God. Pray every day for everything that you need for that day. Pray about the same matters every single day until God brings them to fulfillment. Let the Lord move through your heart to do and bring about his perfect will. One of the things that I'd like to do with this ministry is the daily reading plan, the Bible in one year. I've posted a 
link to the plan that I'm going to be following in a comment on Facebook. Um, I'm going to be uploading this to YouTube as well. Obviously, some of you are going to see it there. Some of you are going to see it on Facebook. Praise God. I'm excited. I'm amped. So I'm going to see if I can post the uh, link to that plan. Join me in reading the Bible in one year. I've never done the plan. I've started it several times. I've I just didn't make it. So this will help me to become accountable. What I'd like to do is I'd like to comment on the reading, the daily reading, do a commentary post or some type of reflection that we can all come to and just share. Well, hey, look, this is what I got out of that. This is what I saw in the word today. Oh, praise God. I like what you saw that blessed me. Some type of interaction, something that will help us to keep each other accountable. And many of you have already responded saying, yeah, hey, count me in. I want to do it. Great. Praise God. Let's start out the new year in the word of God. The Bible says, thy word have I hid in mine heart that I might not sin against thee. Scripture says that the word of God is pure. Every word is pure. His word is a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. It is through the word of God that we get wisdom. The Bible says, it talks about the wellspring of wisdom. A well is a deep place that you have to dig deep in order for us to draw out and tap into the wisdom of God for this new year. The word of God must be a foundational practice. It must be something that's elementary in our lives. And I'd like to do this reading plan to help us be accountable help myself be accountable because I don't want to look like an idiot (laughs) when I'm telling you all, hey, let's do this reading plan and then I'm not doing it. So listen, okay, mercy in the event, if that should happen, if the boy should get weak, (laughs) please pray for me and gently and mercifully remind me. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I'm believing God. But hey, 2020 is on the verge. We are on the precipice of seeing a move of God such as we have not yet seen. It will be paramount to what we've been accustomed to and to what we've experienced. And I hear the Lord speaking to me right now saying that he is going to be doing new things. Expect new connections, expect new revelation, expect new wisdom, expect new strength, expect a newness, a new anointing, expect a baptism of newness to come upon you. If you feel that for yourself, agree with the word by saying amen type amen respond do something as an act of faith that says i agree let that word be so praise god hey can't wait to see you guys in the new year let's get this let's do this kingdom thing together love you all God bless you all. I'm going to be celebrating the new year in tonight with my local assembly of believers, my church home. I'm going to worship out the old year and worship in the new year. The first thing that I'm going to do is be giving God glory. And the last thing that I aim to do is blessing his name. I want to find myself on my knees at the altar worshiping. My God, he's so worthy. Anyways. God bless you all. Grace be with you. And I look forward to the many interactions in this new year. In Jesus' name, peace.